Hello my beautiful people and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nani and in today's video I want to go ahead and share with you some of the lessons that I've learned since I started my health and fitness journey back in January. So I want to just share with you some of the things that I feel like you need to be mindful and cognizant of and then also some things that are just very unnecessary for you to start this journey. And at the end or towards the end of this video, I will also share with you a few of my favorite kind of like um, active wear that I've been rocking since I started my journey. So, of course, if you guys would like to hear what my thoughts are on this topic, definitely make sure that you stay tuned. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure that you go ahead and give me a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe to my channel for more. But if you are a returning subscriber, hello. I hope that this video finds you well and that you are doing amazing. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now jumping right into it, I just want to go ahead and just share a few things. I do have my phone because I wrote down a few things that I wanted to make sure to mention to you guys. Um, but this video is very kind of like chill and casual. Even though my makeup is done, I'm getting ready to go to work. <laughs> so that's why I look like this. But if it wasn't for that, I would have been in my pajamas right now. But anywho. Uh, so I want to go ahead and just share with you a few kind of like, I guess, tips, tricks, things to look out for, things to be cognizant of um, as you're starting your journey and as well as if you want to remain consistent on this journey. And really one of the first tips would be for you to just accept the, fi the fact or the reality that this is a journey, okay? This is not going to be a especially if you're trying to do it without having to go like under the knife and I'm not throwing shots at anybody do what you want with your body like do, do what you want with your money like it's up to you just be safe but I feel like if you are trying to just like start a health and fitness journey by just cutting out certain foods or dieting or just working out in general because that's the route that I'm taking and that I'm on these are pretty much the things that I've had to learn and accept along the way that has made the process and the journey a lot easier for me. And the main thing is just recognizing that this is a journey. This is not something that's going to happen overnight. This isn't something that you can rush through. This is something that you have to grow through. And so accepting that off the bat, even before you start, will help for you to give yourself a lot more grace. I think I mentioned this in a TikTok or something like that before where I when I first started my journey back in January like towards the end of January and I'll insert actually like photos throughout this um, video just so you guys can see kind of where I started where I'm at now and I'll also share with you some of my personal struggles right now as well but anywho um what was I gonna say oh yeah give yourself grace <laughs> so when it comes to giving yourself grace, when I first started my journey, like I remember because I was trying to just get into the place of just being disciplined and just remaining consistent in my journey, there were certain times where I kind of overdid it and overexerted my energy. And I feel like for me personally, I'm recognizing that that's a part of the mentality of self-harm. That's a spirit of self-harm. And the reason I say that is because if it's taken you... 20 years 30 years 10 years 15 years or whatever it is for you to get to the weight that you are for you to get to the condition that you are in now that you're not pleased with then you can't expect for the journey or the process that you're going to go on to happen in a month or two months or three months or whatever it is like you have to be willing to just recognize and accept the fact that it is going to be a journey and the journey um, with like getting your health together and working out and things like that and losing weight what I'm recognizing is that it's more of a mental journey. It's physical as well, obviously, but it's more of a mental journey than anything as well. And so the next tip or the next thing for you to be cognizant of as well is just if you have the opportunity of having an accountability partner or having a workout partner um, when you're starting your journey, that is incredible. That's amazing. Do it push each other and do what you got to do. But if you're in a position like myself, for example, starting my journey, I had to start on my own and I'm still on the journey on my own. And so I feel like you have to get to the place where you become your own cheerleader, your own accountability partner, not in a sense. And I'm not saying this in a way of like, oh, I don't need nobody. That is not true. Okay. <laughs> but what I mean by that is 
even if you start off with an accountability partner that you're going to the gym with or you're working out with or that's helping you to keep consistent throughout the journey you'll recognize that it's like nobody can do it for you and there's certain things that you're going to have to push through that your accountability partner will obviously help to encourage but can't do for you and that's what I mean when I say that it's more of a mental battle and that you have to learn to become your own cheerleader and accountability partner because you can't allow your journey to depend on someone else. You have to get to the place of just like being able to cheer your cheer yourself on and push yourself and, um, you know, di just remaining disciplined in this journey because it's not something that's going to happen overnight. So I would say that those are the first two things that I definitely wanted to mention and something that I had to get like a quick reality check to um, when I started because I've had situations where it's like I really overexerted myself where it's like there's one time my um, treadmill literally shut down on me because of how high or how fast my heart was beating and then I also had an incident not too long ago actually where um, like I, my blood sugar was low and I had to like run to the store and get something so just recognize, accept that this is going to be a journey and this is going to be a very fulfill. It's going to be difficult and hard, but it's a fulfilling journey. And so don't look at it like, oh, I have to hurry up and like resolve every issue, every bad habit in a month. Like that's not realistic and that's not being fair to yourself and that's harming yourself. And that's really... Um, not setting yourself up for success because you don't want to just lose the weight just to say you did it and then see it but then there's no habits there's no discipline to really back it up so just keep that in mind that it is going to be a long journey it is going to be a long road it is a narrow road it's a narrow path and it is going to be difficult but along that path you will discover so much about yourself. You will discover your strengths, your weaknesses. You'll recognize, that's another thing as well to look out for. You'll recognize your negative self-talk. Like, y'all, in the beginning, when I first started, it wasn't even like negative self-talk, like I was talking ish to myself. It was more of like, I realized very quickly how small and how limited my thinking was of myself. And that made me so sad and emotional in the beginning because it was something very hard for me to like push through and remain consistent because obviously when you first start, it's not like you see the benefits or the rewards of it. You just like when you first started, you're literally just putting your body through just pain and like sweat and, and just tiredness you're putting your body and your mind through all of that before you actually see the results for you to be like oh, okay yes this is good like so to have to recognize that and then to also realize how limited your thinking is when it comes to yourself how um like for me, and again, I'm just speaking about my personal experience, just recognizing how low my self-esteem was, how I just negatively looked at myself and the limited just ways that I looked at my at what I'm able to do and what's capable for me. And that's why I say just embrace the journey because it's a beautiful one. It's a fulfilling one. It's one that is difficult physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, like it's difficult. But the reward of it, like it's almost like you have to look at it like a two-sided coin. So on one side of the coin, it is difficult. It's hard. It's tiring. It's frustrating. It is exhausting. It is all of those things. But then on the other side of the coin, the reward side of the coin, and I'm sorry if you hear my dog scratching herself, Chaz. She's been rolling around in the grass. I be telling her I don't do it. But anywho, <laughs> so on the other side of that coin is the reward. The way, the fact that you start to see yourself properly, the fact that you start to love yourself properly, the fact that you start to give yourself more grace without being lazy, having clear boundaries with yourself and with like others in your time, being uh, more disciplined. Like those are just incredible incredible rewards that you get on the other side of that coin and so it's a journey that I would recommend all of you guys to go on 
because our body is a temple and we need to treat it as such. And for a very long time, and I mentioned this recently in a vlog, where my struggle since I was a kid has always been, or my sin, my biggest deadly sin, has always been gluttony. Y'all. And believe it or not, even though I am, I started at the end of, around the, like towards the end of January, middle end of January, I'll put a date around me somewhere. Um, and I've been going through a lot throughout this journey or whatever. And it's like, you're trying to break bad habits. Now I'm at the place now where it's like not going to the gym is like an idiotic thought, <laughs> like not working out, not getting back on my grind. Like it's just, my brain is like, what are you even talking about? You know? And so that's why I'm saying that. The journey, like, it'll change over time. So just embrace it. Bandit, what you doing? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so my biggest sin has always been gluttony. And believe it or not, since the beginning of the year, since I started working out, I've lost thus far about 20, about 20 pounds or so. I'll put the exact figures, like, on the screen or whatever. Um, and... I'm basically back at the weight that I've always been since like high school or so and even back then like I was still not in the healthiest shape because I have a lot more body fat than I do muscle and so I'm working on that now but it's like being back at this stage even though I've lost 20 pounds and it is something to be celebrated because I feel a lot healthier than where I came from y'all when I tell you my scale is so disrespectful because it tells you your metabolic uh, age. And girl, my metabolic age is 40, okay? Not that that's old, but I just turned 34. And to me, I feel like that is disrespectful. And it's because, again, like, I have much more body fat than I do anything else. And so I do still have a long journey and a, uh, a long journey to continue to go on. And this is a lifelong journey for me. I've embraced that. Um, but... Yeah, gluttony is just difficult for me. And gluttony, not even in the sense of like, because back then there was also overeating like certain foods. And that's tied to a whole bunch of other stuff, which I may or may not share eventually. But um, yeah, like I'm realizing that being back at this weight, the temptation for like sweets and candy and chocolates and stuff like that have heightened tremendously. And it's a battle like it's really a struggle for me and it has been since I was a kid and so now I'm just like wow it's crazy that it's like my mind has shifted my I'm more disciplined when it comes to like the gym and working out and things like that and making healthier choices but it's like that temptation is still there because it's like like I mentioned in a previous vlog it knows whose door to knock on because I've fallen into that temptation several times before in my life. And so it almost feels like it's at a peak right now where it's just like, we can't let her <laughs> continue because she's learned so much about herself and she's more confident and things like that. And so it's a very interesting road. It's a very interesting journey. So just keep that in mind and just know that those things will come up. Um, especially if that's also something that's been a struggle with uh, for you as well like gluttony and just finding it difficult to make those healthier choices it's going to come up on this journey even though I've lost 20 pounds you know so I'm not gonna sit here and just be like oh I have the secret and the case and no it is a struggle like literally a few days ago I went to CVS and I bought me a bag of like the Snickers minis and I ate, I ate the bag already and this was the other day that I bought it and it's already done so it's a struggle and I'm working on it and I just want to be honest with you when it, when it comes to that as well so I just wanted to mention that I don't even know what tip that was <laughs> but um okay the next thing I want to mention one thing I also wanted to mention is that when I say that this this is a journey as well, just keep in mind that the journey is not a linear road. It is going to, you're going to have to adjust. Um, my schedule has changed so much since I started working out back in January and I've had so many different transitions and so many things happen that it's like, it really tests your will and 
just know that just know things will happen you know people will get sick or you will get sick um your schedule may change if you have children like I can't even imagine like how much more difficult it is you know work and changing jobs and so things will come up along the way but just make sure that you stay committed to what your plan is which is to remain healthy and to continue to make healthy choices and so accept the fact that the journey itself is not going to be a straight you know easy path it's not going to be linear you may have to make a, a lot of adjustments along the way and along with that the adjustment that i'm recognizing that i have to do now even though i've lost the first 20 pounds um the adjustment that i'm realizing that i have to do now is just doing more it's almost like it's requiring more from me almost like if you are someone that um let's say you believe in God and I'll just compare it to like my relationship with God because that's also a part of the journey for me and just there are certain times where you know that there are certain things that you have to do to get into like a deeper intimacy with God that's almost what it feels like for me when it comes to my workout uh journey even with like mentally like if you've been doing a lot of like self-reflection and trying to do certain changes and cut off certain people but sometimes you have to go to the next level by maybe going to therapy maybe reaching out to the person that needs that you need to apologize to like there's deep there's more things that will be required of you the higher the level you go on so that you can really just get the fullness and enjoy the fullness of what this journey is there to give to you or to bring to you so just keep that in mind it's not a linear road there will be adjustments that need to be made and right now in my health and fitness journey I'm realizing that it's just requiring a little bit more out of me like I've been doing core exercises and ab workouts and things like that now and y'all I say everything hurts <laughs> hey everything hurts okay but I'm here for it let's do it let's get it um, so that's the next tip and then the last tip which is going to also transition into me sharing with you some of my um, active wear I guess you can say the last tip is that you don't need anything f fancy to start <laughs> you don't need anything fancy to change okay um, I know that in this day and age with social media and you see, you know, your favorite influencers wearing Gymshark and Lululemon and things like that. And again, I'm not throwing shots at nobody because they be cute. Like the outfits are really cute, but you don't need it to start. And you definitely do not need it to remain on your path or to stay consistent or to basically continue to push yourself and I feel like when you start and you get to the place of discipline and consistency you'll realize that it's like yeah those things are nice but I don't need it to actually do what I need to do so uh the outfits that I'm going to mention to you are things that I've been using since I started my journey I haven't really like purchased a lot more things and again, there's nothing wrong with the Gym Sharks and the Lululemons. There's a few of them that, like, I've saved a lot of them. And I feel like the, they're more investment pieces. But if you still haven't even started, why are you investing in just outfits? You know what I mean? Like, and, and again, if you have the funds to do it and you feel like that is going to be a part of what's going to push you and motivate you and things like that, do you. Like, but for me personally... Because I was just like, I've tried this whole healthy thing before and I haven't been able to remain consistent and actually lose weight. I was just like, I'm not going to go the route of investing in 60, 70, you know, dollar outfits <laughs> um, just to do the same thing that I can do at the gym for a $12, $20 outfit, if that makes sense. So again, do you, I'm not judging anyone like I don't care enough you guys like I really don't um but yeah I just want to go ahead and just mention that you don't need anything fancy to change or to start your journey you don't even need a gym membership for me my personal journey is going to the gym just because I feel like I like the fact that I can get out of the house and I don't want to buy a bunch of equipment to have at home 
I prefer to just pay a monthly fee and I can go to the gym as often as I need to to use all the fancy equipment that they have, all the fancy weights that they have without me having to like clutter my space with that stuff. So yeah, you don't you don't need anything fancy to actually get started. And so I want to go ahead and share with you a few things that I picked up from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross. Y'all know I love them stores, okay? Because you can like if you look, you can actually find really good quality pieces that lasts you a very long time and these are the ones that I've been basically rotating throughout the past what nine months since I started my journey which is insane to think that we out here consistent okay so I want to go ahead and just share with you guys sports bras and then some workout shorts as well as some workout pants so starting off with sports bras the brand that I would definitely recommend that you look into is New Balance I think that they do just a really great job at the ones that they um, have in terms of just different people, different like chest size. I feel like you can definitely find something that works for you, whether you're doing like high in intensity or even if you're just going for a walk around the block, you're going to the park to just walk. If you're, I don't know, jump rope, whatever it is that you're doing, like New Balance, they actually have a lot of really good quality sports bras in my personal opinion and I do have a few of them to mention to you so the first one is this right here which is kind of like this taupey brown uh, color and it has kind of like a speckled effect I will also insert like me wearing them just so you guys can see what they look like on but this is a traditional kind of like a sports bra style um, but I will say that it's a little bit higher neck like the this part is a little bit higher neck not too too high but it's definitely a little bit higher neck it's not going to give you like cleavage if that's what you're looking for if you want a little bit more cleavage this is not going to give you that this is going to give you kind of like that traditional sports bra look and feel but a little bit more higher neck to keep you a bit more co uh, covered up a little bit more modest um that's not why i went for it i just I mean, I guess it is why I went, a part of why I went for it. But um, yeah, it is going to be a little bit more modest depending on your boob size. But yeah, this is incredible. I love these. Um, the These are actually the first style that I started off with. And as soon as I tried them, I was like, I definitely am going to continue to repurchase like from New Balance. And that's how I kind of grew my New Balance <laughs> collection, I guess you could say. Um, I'm not really like gentle when it comes to washing these, to be honest with you. I just throw them in the washer. So if you're a little bit more careful, I'm sure that you'll be able to preserve it a little bit longer. But even the way that I wash them, they work wonderfully for me. Uh, they do come with like the little insert things to cover your nipples. I take them out because I just can't be bothered with like taking them out when it's time to wash them and then putting them back in like I just can't be bothered so I wear a shirt when I go to the gym so I don't go with just my sports bra but even if you do go with just your sports bra you have the option of putting the insert in there if you want your nipples to be covered um, but yeah I love these they feel wonderful they feel very comfortable the material is very soft as well and they just keep you in place and I just I love these so I'm not really sure of um, exactly what the name of the styles are, but I'll look for them and try to find, you know, the exact ones and link them down below. If I can't find them, I'll just mention that to you guys in the uh, description box below. But these are just really, really nice. And then so after I tried that one out, I went back to try to see if I can find more colors in that style or just different styles. And then I found this one. I also have two colors in this as well. I love this kind of... Stay quiet. I love this kind of like um, minty green type color. This one is definitely a little bit more of a, a little bit of a higher neck. The back, as you guys can see, is like this crisscross design. So I love the style of this. The one thing that I will say about this one specifically, because of the crisscross design in the back, I will say that this gives more of an illusion of like a halter where like it comes in and you'll see that as well in the try on and so I feel like if you do have a bigger chest you'll probably really really enjoy this because it gives you a lot more support without compromising the quality because the fit is really nice the fabric is really nice and it's really cute as well so 
I would definitely recommend this one if you do have a bigger chest. And then one that's kind of like a mid between both of those are this one. I actually wore this to the gym today, so it is dirty. <laughs> and this one, like I mentioned, I'm not really particular with the way that I wash them. I just kind of throw them in the washer. So it's not, it, it's not as brightly white as it was when I first got it. It's a little gray right now, but it's okay. It, it does the job. Um, so yeah, so this is basically what it looks like. And this one is kind of a similar background but this one is more of kind of like a racer back type of background um background y'all y'all know what i'm saying <laughs> it has more of like a racer back style and i love this one this one it definitely is a mid between the two the first two that i mentioned to you in the sense where it still gives you the support without it being so high neck so halter where it almost feels like you're being suffocated if you have a smaller chest because i find that with this one because my boobs are not that big and i don't need like they don't come out outwards too much this one i'd be feeling like it's trying to be a, a turtleneck, like trying to chop me. <laughs> and so that's the only thing that I will say about this one. But this is kind of like a good hybrid of the two. And I just love it. It's still cute, very comfortable. Fabric is very nice. And yeah, so that's going to be the last New Balance piece. And then the next one, the next item I want to mention to you is going to be the tops that I wear. And it is these right here actually I think all of these are the same brand is it yes okay so the next few items that I want to mention to you really quickly are the same exact brand and it is the yoga licious brand if you see that at Marshall's TJ Maxx I feel like they may also have it at Ross as well pick it up the material is so soft so buttery so comfortable they stay in place they're just amazing okay so this is the top that i wear i have this in like four colors i'm still looking to see if i can find a black one as well as like a one more color but this shape is really 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 nice very comfortable they just, I don't know, I feel like this makes me look like I am a professional <laughs> and I love that for me, even though I am not and I'm still learning and I'm still on my journey, but they just fit really nicely. They're very comfortable. They do give a little bit more of like a cropped look and feel. So if you like that, then you'll definitely like them. If you don't, I typically like, I'm okay with it being like a cropped kind of look because I like high rise things. So like my shorts or even the pants that I wear, like I wear them more hot on the high rise side. So there's not really much gap between like where the shirt ends as well as where the bottoms start. So I like that. But if you don't, I, I'm sure that they have like other styles that you can probably go for. Actually, they do have other styles that you can go for. That's more of like a full shirt. But these are just very soft, very comfortable. They're not compressive. They do have a little bit more of a stretch to them. But they still kind of like contour your body really nice to make you look like you're snatched. And I just love them. So that's going to be the top. I have them, like I mentioned, in several colors. The bottoms, I'm going to show you the shorts first. And yeah. Yeah, I'm going to show you the shorts first. So I have two of them. Again, I have various colors. So this is a black one and like a lilac purple one. And I just love them. Like when it comes to shorts or bottoms in general, not even just for active wear or like, um, yeah, active wear. I need pockets, okay? Where am I supposed to put my keys? Where am I supposed to put my phone? Where am I supposed to put like my little um, gym gloves like where am i supposed to store those things if there's no pockets and so i need pockets at all times and the yoga licious brand does have some that have no pockets and then they do have the the ones that come with pockets as well and i just love them like the pockets are actually like deep enough to where like your items actually stay in it while you're working out the material is very soft very stretchy it contours your body very well as well without making you look like you're bulging out of the clothes. So they're very like more of like a seamless type of material. Like 
you know the difference between like a cot your cotton panties and then your more like seamless satin feeling panties this gives off more of like a satiny type of feel so they feel very very seamless so just because of that you have to be very selective in terms of like what you wear as far as your undergarments um because it not that they're not sheer but because of that seamless type of material like things will show like if there's any type of lines in your panties or whatever like it you'll see it through so just be a little bit more selective when it comes to whatever undergarments you wear with them but they're not see-through or anything like that and i just love them i love them they work very well and like i mentioned i will make sure to insert pictures and things like that as well and then this one is the purple one it's the same thing the only thing is i feel like this one the material is a little bit very it's very soft very like buttery feeling but i feel like this one feels a little bit more like a mix between like a cotton and like a satin it's like a soft cotton type of feel whereas the black one feels a little bit more like a satiny feel to me in my personal opinion but it still gives the same effect in terms of just smoothing your um, body without you bulging out of it or anything like that and then the last item i want to mention are the long pants like uh yeah the long pants they're kind of a very similar color to the first top that i mentioned to you um but yeah so this is what they look like and you guys will see it on as well but these are all from the yogalicious brand this one has the little pocket as well back here um, where you can put like your keys or whatever but it also has side pockets which are deep enough to where your things are not gonna like fly out of it while you're working out and what i like about these as well is it has the um elastic at the top as well like at the top of the pants so it's not sliding down that's one thing that i cannot stand with like workout athletic wear is when you're working out or you're doing any movement walking <laughs> and it starts sliding down that drives me <laughs> insane and these, because they have the little, the elastic at the top part of it, it basically stays wherever you placed it. So I really, really love that. And it's the same kind of like soft yoga pant type of material. That's really what it is. It's like a yoga pant type material. So it's not compressive wear. If you are looking for something more compressive, I can't help you because I don't have any of those in my collection currently, but I am interested in finding them. So definitely let me know if you have some that are really good and they're more on the compressive side. Let me know what your favorites are as well down in the comment section. But um, these are more just yoga pants type of feel and look, but it's still you're still able to do like high intensity workouts with these without feeling like you're moving your body moving all over the place. Hopefully that makes sense. But that's going to be the last item I wanted to mention to you. Of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more. Like I mentioned, if you have any recommendations for me down below, any tips or tricks, whatever it is, definitely leave that in the comment section below as well. Thank you guys so much again for tuning in to another video. I hope that this video was encouraging to you and I hope that this video finds you well. Thank you again for tuning in. God willing, I will see you guys next time.